Okay. After a few... After a few twists and turns, we are back at Yoshiki's point of view. So let's, uh... Continue here. やらなきゃ。死の先が心配だな。とはいえ、ここであいつを逃がすわけにもいかねえしな。どうする。了解。誰だ。誰かいるのか。<笑> in a hard place. <laughs> She held it down and began pummeling me something fierce. <laughs> then, as if a beating were enough, she began to strangle me. What if we just do nothing? Oh, really? That's it. We. I do now.
ないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとないとない
That's a nice position. Uh, not. Right. Oh, shit. Okay, there was a, definitely a little more to that one. <laughs> and close my eyes. Unsurprisingly, everything got, everything got really quiet, but it stayed that way, even after I lowered my arms. As far as I could tell, the presence was gone. Huh. What? Maybe <laughs> Oh shit. The anatomical model seemed to have lifted the entire cabinet and chucked it to the ground, ejecting me from it, leaving me exposed. <laughs> There's... I can't... What the ha... I thought that was the right thing to... Hold up. I wasn't supposed to go up the stairs, I don't think. Oh, jeez. I 
I think I lost him. Shinotake, where are Okay. Head back to the pool. Shinotake! Thing here. Shinozaki, 
Shino Saki sa. Daishobu? Kega wa nai? Why are you just a head on a desk? Light from the classroom shone into the hallway, lightly casting my shadow across the floor. And there, right by it, another smaller shadow appeared as well, swinging an axe at me. <gasps> I immediately instinctively ducked. You're both frozen in fear by what just occurred. But then out popped Miss Kuon from the depths of the classroom, who, with shocking strength, grasped our arms in her hands and ran like the wind. <laughs> was covered in sweat as she was clearly exhausted, but she still managed to smile at us reassuringly. In spite of this, however, her hands were shaking violently, belling her composure. <laughs> Naomi squeezed Miss Kuan's hand sympathetically. That was I thought that was the bad ending option I took. Wasn't it?
先生痛い。Grabby hands. <laughs> Your inches from where I was sitting, numerous hands were reaching up at me from the floor. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Then all of a sudden, Miss Kuan's head broke apart into pieces and exploded outward. <laughs> the shit? <laughs> That's what I'd like to know. Oh god, the guy with the... Mr. Axe, man. What? Oh. Oh no. Uh. 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 Naomi had fainted and was completely oblivious to anything that was happening to her. Nami! I tried to run over to her, but her body began floating off the ground, higher than I could reach. Oh god, that damn priest thing again. Oh no. A primal scream erupted from Naomi's floating body. Followed by a spray of blood and viscera, she was literally ripped into four pieces. The entire room was now very red. Oh shit. What the fuck? <laughs> I realized too late there was now a presence behind me. What followed was the strangest sound I ever heard, and the strangest sensation as well. An axe had pierced the door behind me, striking me firmly in the head and splitting me cleanly in half. The room spun in opposite directions, and then it was all over. <laughs> well, that definitely was... Ugh, jeez. What do you even say about that? Okay, this time, let's, uh... Okay, I actually took the, the right path the first time. 
Okay. This was the right path. You have to put that right in the doorway. Mizuno. The hell name is that? Succumb to food poisoning from sweets. Seems your last words were alive or dead. I gotta update my blog. Academy class 2C. Ran Kobayashi. Yeah, didn't the one. Yeah, she. The corpse that attacked Yoshiki. Y Yoshiki was, uh. mentioned someone named Ran. Succumbed to fatigue while searching for friend. get rid of those phantoms otherwise than with the talismans.
before it came. Sajiko Yukino suffered brain contrusion after taking a beating to the head. One punch, man. Yusuke, Daisuke. お前が困っているなら必ず駆けつける。あんまり人のこと見くびるなよ。本当おめえはよ。Reach a me 
mutual understanding, and as a show of good faith and friendship, we fist bumped on it. But then Azusa began to moan. <laughs> プールで曲がりってやつに大事なもん取られちまった。ちょっと、なんで委員長を一人にしたの仕方ねえだろ。取られたもん取り返さないと、俺たちは帰れなくなるんだからよ。よしき、それなら心配ない。久遠先生が持っている石で帰れる俺たちはそれを使ってここに来たんだからな何マジかよそれ本当よ岸沼くんだから一緒に篠崎さんを探しましょうこの子はもうごく貸しかけているわかわいそうだけどもう何もできない Well, that was the end of chapter five. Soulful testimony from Tomokazu Sugita has been unlocked. Well then, that was quite some progress we made tonight. We cleared two chapters. So I guess when I next when I next return to this, we'll do chapter six. Tomorrow though, we return to Final Friday where I will continue onwards with Final Fantasy II. So I hope I hope you'll come join me for then. Otherwise, um, let's see. Um, hope we will, uh, I hope you all have a good night. And I will see you guys later. See you everyone.